Welcome to this review of Air Tahiti's flight from Morea to Bora Bora on board an ATR-72 aircraft. This is a short flight on a small plane with no assigned seating. Our journey began at Morea Airport. It is one of the smallest airports I've seen in my life. The check-in and boarding processes felt like the old days. There was no security at all, but also everything was weighted. Fun fact, the passenger in front of me had a backpack that exceeded the limit of 5 kilos, which is about 11 pounds, and so she just took a few bottles of water out of the bag, weighted it again, and then she was allowed to put them back in. The limit for check bags was 15 kilos, but I think it applies per reservation though because we had one 19 kilos bag and one 9 kilos bag and we didn't have to pay extra. Also, there were no speaker announcements in the airport, but since there were only two flights, you could figure it out easily. Unfortunately for us, our flight was delayed. A lot. So we got vouchers to use at the only restaurant in the airport. It didn't have a lot of choice, but they were quick to handle this sudden rush in demand and prepare more sandwiches. There is no Wi-Fi available at the airport and cellular connection was spotty. There are also very few power outlets available. And like I said, announcements were made in person and there was no speaker system. After our plane arrived, the boarding process went really fast. We walked on the tarmac to the plane and boarded through the back. Seats were not assigned, so we picked any row. Each row is really two seats tied together. They're not comfortable at all, and you cannot recline them. The tray is very flimsy. Also, the pocket in front of you is really just rubber band straps, so it can't hold any personal items. And obviously, there are no power outlets or Wi-Fi. Flight attendants came to give us pineapple juice. The plane is really loud, but views of the islands from the sky are so amazing that I didn't even think about it. We chose to sit on the left side on purpose after checking the plane's exact itinerary since we could see more islands on that side. It was rainy during our flight, but here are some of the views from the return trip. On arrival, we also exited from the back of the plane and walked on the tarmac. Since Bora Bora Airport is built on an island, there are no roads to get to it. Each hotel had a booth to welcome its guests and take them by boat to their destination. The baggage claim was also very simple and we got our suitcases quickly. Here's the Bora Bora Airport terminal. It's just as small as the Maria one, but it looks a little bit more modern with a nicer gift shop and check-in counters. Thanks for watching my video. I posted separate videos of takeoff and landing for those who want to see more. As usual, don't forget to subscribe.